This is I Flip for Math, MathCast, Lesson 2-5, Adding and Subtracting Large Numbers. And our quote is by Guder, The essence of mathematics is not to make simple things complicated, but to make complicated things simple. And that's what we're going to do today with our adding and subtracting. Your learning goal is to add and subtract large numbers and to check your work. So here they are, independent lesson learning goals. We want to use our place value positions to line up numbers before we add or subtract. Um, in a number with more than one zero next to each other, we want to use the zero strategy to regroup easily. And we want to use the opposite operation to check our addition and subtraction. In fifth grade, we expect you to always check your work. We want you to know if you got a problem correct or incorrect before you ever turn it into a teacher. That way you can fix it before you turn it in. You have a better chance of getting it right. Here is our vocabulary for today's lesson. Sum. A sum is the answer to an addition problem. Difference. The answer to a subtraction problem. You'll need to know these because they may ask you what is the sum of 7 and 2, and you would need to know that you're adding 7 plus 2 to get 9. Here are some hints for adding and subtracting large numbers. First of all, remember, line up your numbers according to their place value positions. Add or subtract numbers beginning in the ones place. And regroup numbers when needed, carrying or borrowing numbers. And check your answer using the opposite operation. If you use those four steps, Adding and subtracting will be easy for you. Okay, we're going to find the sum of 603,887. And remember, sum means to add, so we're going to be adding these two numbers. And 529,000, notice my commas are lining up, 522. So let's add those numbers. 7 plus 2 is 9. 8 plus 2 is 10. So we write our 0 down here and carry our 1. 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 and 5 are 14. Carry our 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 and 9 is 13. 1 plus 0 is 1. Plus 2 is 3. And 6 and 5 are 11. Put our commas in the correct spaces. Your answer should be 1,133,409. Now I want you to check it using subtraction. So this is our actual answer. I'm going to put a box around it so I don't forget and put an arrow to it. But now I'm going to re-subtract this number right here. I'm just going to write that right underneath it. 529,522. 9 minus 2 is 7. 0 minus 2, we can't do that, so we'll cross that out and put a 3. 10 minus 2 is 8. 3 minus 5, we can't do that, put a 2. 13 minus 5 is 8. 2 minus 9, can't do that. 12 minus 9 is 3. 2 minus 2 is 0. And a, there we go. 11 minus 5 is 6. Now, I want you to draw an arrow up to this number because if you've checked correctly, this should be the same number as this number up here. This isn't the answer to your problem. This is your checking answer. This is the answer to your problem, and you would just rewrite that and put your commas where they belong, and this is your final answer. Let's practice adding some numbers. Find the sum of 4,576 and 12,004. Remember, sum means the answer to an addition problem, so we're going to add those two numbers together. Go ahead and pause it, write it in your journal, and push play when you're ready. Okay. 
Did you write 16,580? Let's see how we did that. Okay, this time we're going to find the sum of, oops, let's come back on the page, 4,576, and we're adding it to 12,004. So I'm going to write that number on top because I always like to write the greater number on top, whether I'm adding or subtracting. Okay, but we are adding, finding the sum. 4 plus 6 is 10, carry my 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. 0 plus 5 is 5. 2 plus 4 is 6. And 1 plus nothing is 1. Now we're going to check that using subtraction. So I'm going to rewrite that number right above it, just below it. 0 minus 6 I can't do, so I borrow. 10 minus 6 is 4. 7 minus 7 is 0. 5 minus 5 is 0. 16, or excuse me, 6 minus 4 is 2. And 1 minus nothing is 1. And this answer matches my original number at the top, so I know that I've gotten it correct. Now here's something you need to know. If you add and you get the wrong answer and then you pretend like you're checking by just writing down this number here and then writing this number on the top down here, but you don't really do the subtraction, I'll know because you'll have the wrong answer there. So don't do that. Make sure you actually work your subtraction problem right there and then draw your arrow to the top to show that you got it correct. Okay, now we're going to find the sum of 330,896 and 24,772. Work it in your journal and then push play. Did you write 355,668? Let's see how we did that. Okay, so we're finding the sum of 330,896 plus 24,000, lining up my commas, make sure that I have them in the right place value position, 772. 6 plus 2 is 8, 9 plus 7 is 16, carry the 1, 8 plus 1 is 9, and 9 and 7 is 16, carry my 1, 1 plus 4 is 5, 3 plus 2 is 5, and 3 plus nothing is 3. That's our final answer. Now we're going to check it by using the opposite operation, which is subtraction. 8 minus 2 is 6, 6 minus 7 can't do it, 16 minus 7 is 9, 5 minus 7 can't do it, 15 minus 7 is 8, 4 minus 4 is 0, 5 minus 2 is 3, 3 minus nothing is 3. Check it. All of those numbers are exactly the same. So this is our checking answer and this is our final answer. Now we're going to do some practice subtracting. Find the difference. Remember, the difference means that you're subtracting. 4,973 minus 3,582. Did you write 1,391? Let's check it out. Okay, we're going to begin subtracting in the ones place. So 3 minus 2 is 1. 7 minus 8 can't do it. 17 minus 8 is 9. 8 minus 5 is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. That's our final answer. And using our checking strategy, we're going to add, because we're using the opposite operation, 1 plus 2 is 3, 9 plus 8 is 17, 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 and 5 are 9, and 1 plus 3 is 4. And it should match the number we got at the top. Now find the difference, 221,502 minus 78,533. Pause it, work it out, and get back to us. 
Did you write 142,969? Let's see how we got that answer. Okay, again, beginning in the ones place. 2 minus 3, we can't do that, so we're going to have to come over here and borrow. I'm going to borrow 1 from 50. So I'm going to cross this out and write 49 on top of it, and then borrow that 1. 12 minus 3 is 9. 9 minus 3 is 6. 4 minus 5, I can't do that. 14 minus 5 is 9. 0 minus 8, I'll borrow again. 10 minus 8 is 2, 1 minus 7, wow, we're doing a lot of borrowing. 11 minus 7 is 4, 1 minus 0 is 1. That's our final answer. Let's check it to see how we did. We're going to add the number right here, 78,533. 9 plus 3 is 12. 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 3 is 10, carry our 1. 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 5 is 15. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 8 is 11. 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 7 is 12. 1 plus 1 is 2. Let's see if we got the same answer. Yep, we did. But remember, this is our final answer. This is our checking answer. Okay, now I'm going to teach you to use the zero strategy when you're subtracting. It makes subtracting when you have to borrow from a lot of zeros much easier. So take a look at how this works. When I'm subtracting, I start at the ones place. 4 minus 5, can't do it. I'm going to borrow from this number. 14 minus 5 is 9. 2 minus 6, I can't do that. But instead of borrowing from this zero, this zero, this zero, coming back to the nine and then going all the way through it again, I'm going to take one away from 9,000. 9,000 minus one is 8,999. Now I'm going to take that one that I borrowed and write it next to my two. So 12 minus six is six. Nine minus six is three. Nine minus four is five. 9 minus 3 is 6, and 8 minus nothing is 8. Now, that's my final answer, but I'm going to check it just to make sure because that can be kind of crazy. So let's add our bottom two numbers together using the opposite operation. So I'm adding 9 and 5 are 14. 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 6 is 13. 1 plus 3 is 4, and 6 are 10. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 4 is 10. 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 3 is 10. And 1 plus 8 is 9. Yep, that number matches that number there. So this is my final answer, and this is my checking answer. Go ahead and put those symbols next to yours so that you've got them set up exactly the way I do and coded the way I do. Checking your work using the opposite operation is going to save you a lot of time down the road because you'll be making your corrections before you turn a problem in. So don't forget to check. Now it's time to challenge yourself. Here it comes. Find the difference in that. 600,235,741 and 45,127,581. And then in number two, if Mr. Perkins is 4,003 years old and Mrs. Gooding is 1,795 years old, who is older and what is the difference between their ages? Make sure you write both of those answers in your journal and then bring it back to school and check tomorrow to see how you did. Finishing up, again, review your learning goals, see how you did, how did you feel about them, and then in your journal, write down if you're at a one, a two, or a three in your learning. Um, also write down any questions that you might have, and you did it. You've completed lesson 2-5, adding and subtracting large numbers. See you tomorrow.